My name is Charles Story. I'll be your host in the next 15 minutes. We're coming live from Santa Monica, California. Back up there, back up there. Where are we coming live from? Six, and then I think I'm gonna get up and speak for about 15 minutes from 6.30 to 6.45. Yeah, six to eight EST. Okay, and then after that, we can then go to the uh, Luminous, Luminous. meetup, yeah. probably for about half seven till kind of nine. And I just need you to figure out where we're actually going on it, but I think it looks really good. And uh, when I look at all the other people that are attending it, Astrohash, EOS Silicon Valley, EOS Lynx, yeah. Workcoin. Okay, I think that's cool. I'm up for it. What's up? What's up, everyone? <laughs> I'm Sam, the president, co-founder of Everpedia. Glad to be here. Second appearance on the SVK podcast. What's up, everyone? We're Woo! back <laughs> in our hood this time. Last time we were in London. Yeah. Welcome to Santa Monica. Welcome to LA West Side. So we're gonna, we're we're you guys things. are going to see all the SoCal crypto companies, all the good stuff. Obviously, I think it's much better than NorCal. This is Sucha Dinsa, the COO slash CFO slash paper pusher at Everypedia. <laughs> I'm the strict guy keeping order at the company and everyone <laughs> thinks I'm, the, yeah, thinks I'm the boring guy. Being over here in Santa Monica, what is the community like? How have you guys built it? What is the interest for EOS and not only just EOS but blockchain in particular? Are people engaged? Are people willing to learn? What, what, what's going on over here? Yeah, I think what you guys will find is really Santa Monica and, and, and Silicon Beach is the, the bleeding edge in blockchain. Mm -hmm. Blockchain is kind of the new, the, the new internet, Internet 3.0. And, and one of the main things is there's so many companies from like walking distance of literally right where we are, whether it's the Everpedia office, it's Sense, Wax, DNA, all of these companies right down the street, right next to each other. It just literally feels like the 90s internet up in SF, but it's here in SoCal, in LA, in Santa Monica, and it's incredibly exciting. Every type of blockchain stuff, from EOS to Ethereum, uh, every other thing, Hashgraph, other things, everyone is developing, experimenting, and basically on the bleeding edge of regulatory technology, decentralized applications, truly everything. And I don't think there's any other place in the world that you'll find that, but the west side this is the place to be. So if you're a project out there wondering uh, where should we set up our next office or where should we move, <laughs> come to Santa Monica. This place is sick. Like this is this is basically Silicon Beach. What do you think is holding us back as a space? I'm not just like issuing this to one particular protocol. I'm saying in generalization, Sam, because I know you've got some thoughts on this. Yeah, definitely. I think in terms of uh, you know the actual technology we're, we're in the mid 90s but because crypto moves so fast mm. trades 365 days a year the price action is a little bit past the bubble it's in the right. early 2000s the tech still in the mid 90s you know the, the price action is a little bit segmented 
And the, the cool thing is everyone's exploring different types of decentralized applications, token models. Yeah. Here at Everpedia, our first decentralized application, which is the decentralized Wikipedia, yeah. uh, we're doing really well. We're growing organically. We're actually looking at ways to expand the knowledge economy using the IQ token, which yeah. is a fundamental token on the EOS platform. We're actually currently the largest market cap token. And so we're actually going to have a lot of cool announcements about different types of applications that use the IQ token, not just Everpedia, but an entire uh, knowledge space. So I think what's what's really awesome is people are exploring different token economics, mm -hmm. different platforms, and different technologies. So there's still experimentation about what types of technologies will actually gain momentum. Mm -hmm. The price action is is different, right? Mm -hmm. There's actual realistic valuations now. It's it's post <laughs> yeah, right, right. I know too bad for us, right? But but it's uh it's post two thousand dot com bubble in right. my opinion. People are actually building real things, which is what's really exciting. Yeah. Valuations are realistic, and this is actually the best time to get involved. It's counterintuitive, but mm. I was talking to Brock Pierce the other day, and he said, all of the projects I've done and I've started, I've done in bear markets. And that's actually a really, really uh, counterintuitive but valuable piece of advice. You look at the greats in the industry and, and, and when they actually make their moves, it's right now. It's when people are actually heads down building things because you can't just ride on, on speculative and, and economic euphoria. This is when real work is actually done. And so that's why we're really excited to be working right here, developing EOS IO software, developing Everpedia, growing the ecosystem, and also have some really, really exciting announcements about the IQ token and, and oh. multiple dApps and a knowledge economy. They're actually using. Yeah. Although we're only you know several months into the mainnet launch, um, I'd be interested to know your view, Sam, on the EOS IO protocol and why you chose that. And now that we've had four four months or so of it actually being live are you happy with choosing esio uh, looking at what you've seen and and how you know the ability to be free fast and scalable um, has that been helpful towards your project and certainly with the plans and partnerships that you've alluded to um are you happy that it will have the capacity to grow your business and to execute scale, your project man. scale that's what it's, Ooh, an, an adoption man. charles because that's what it's all about so i'd really like to know your views on that yeah of course i honestly every day that we build on eos the more i'm convinced that it's it's the proper decision that's honestly a testament to, to how good both the community and, and the software is obviously every network has has problems and improvements that they could make yeah. um and and the 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 rate at which both the growth and advancement of the eos community and and the eos io software itself is taking is absolutely breathtaking i think that obviously sure distribution and and, and perhaps like block producer uh incentives and, and and stuff like that uh could be fixed a little bit but given sufficient time everything is completely sur uh, surmountable because if you look at the early days of bitcoin ethereum all of these same problems are just early network improvements that, that that can be made and i think actually eos is tackling and improving those problems faster than most other decentralized networks so honestly every day that that we develop on eos i get more and more excited just because of, like the things that are to come <laughs> that the yeah. potential that's here is is incredible yep. you know and and the growth is honestly sh sure right now ethereum has a, a larger developer base yeah. all this stuff the rate at which the EOS community is growing is the fastest out of all other networks and that's what really gets me excited. Wow man, this is a nice vibe. And it kind of, like it almost feels like when I go out there onto the street, it almost feels like Rio and it almost feels like I beat them, right? It kind of feels like kind of both, both things. A little bit, you know, you definitely, uh, I mean, Ibiza is really nice uh, too. You can't knock where those are. In Rio, I think the, the, the swimsuits are a little bit different. Right, right, But right. we do have a, an amazing cultural integration here, which is fantastic. It's, uh, I'd say, very much like Ibiza in, in, in Rio, with the exception of really intelligent tech scene. Dude, the 
price is what you pay, but the value is what you get. Exactly. And that value is worth more than any price. Customer value is created when the perceptions of benefits received exceed the cost of ownership. <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go. Who's the most famous Los Angeles doctor? Who? Right. OJ Simpson. <laughs> <laughs>